hello everyone in this video i'm going to show you how to apply gradient effect to your artwork without using any brush in the app ibs paint x so for that go to filters select draw and in that use parallel gradation so now you can see my canvas is filled with gradation uh, gradient you don't understand where it came from right so by clicking on this parallel gradation whatever gradation we have already in this uh it appears on the canvas so here you can see it has almost like around 50 or more than uh, that can gradi um, gradients so i didn't count so i don't know the exact number of uh, gradient that they provide but every color they every combo they provided are highly useful and it really save your time as well as gives you more idea of the colors so here i choose green and blue uh, gradient and first for the settings i'm going to show you all the details so first comes the wavelength what wavelength is it's like it's like a repeated sequence of these two colors or if the gradation have three or four colors it shows accordingly so as we have only two colors here it shows something like this so this can be not only useful as a gradient effect but also you can use for creating any other details background uh, pictures or journal details or postcard like border details uh, stripe details you can use for many other purpose so for now i'm just telling about the gradient so i'm keeping the wavelength as maximum so next comes the angle as we know angle by changing the angle we can uh, ch uh, change the angle of the canvas color that we have so here you can see by changing the angle the blue color and gray color moves around like is um you can use as per your color so next comes the face what face is as i have told already the wavelength is like sequence series of these two colors uh the face is where our canvas exactly located on that wavelength so here you can see this is where our canvas located on the face so in general by changing the face you can um change uh, you know um change uh the gradation that already we have instead of using the default one we can just move around and play with so next comes the middle this is middle is where the two color blends if you keep at in this middle as maximum or zero percent you will just get only one color so keeping this at uh, like around 50 percent you will get that exact um, evenly you know blended um, gradient next comes the contrast so how contrast we want so at 100 percentage we just have the two colors and by at zero percentage we will get the highly blended gradient so then comes here our gradation we have n not n but around 50 to 60 percentage i mean 60 number of gradients uh, metallic silver uh something you know there are so many gradient i like personally so you can choose as you wish and this is very hard to scroll and search uh, right so here you can see the transparent red transparent orange so you can use uh, them as well as one side there is no color actually it is almost transparent so next comes the add to favorite what I really do is by uh, adding them to the favorite here the favorites uh, we don't have um, them anything already so just add to favorite okay then now this gradient is added to our favorite so we don't want to scroll waste our time instead just favorite them whenever you get a uh, chance to scroll and you can use them instantly so this is very helpful now you can see if you want to edit 
scroll them up and down arrange them as you wish and i like this so next comes the how the blending mode works so here there is linear bizarre step so for the linear we have the smooth gradient i request i recommend you to use the linear one next comes the flip horizontally option you can just flip them next comes this color bar so here by um, moving the diamond shape you can actually fix where your color color one if you want more uh, blue color then move them like this or if you want more green move the green color at the center something like that or if you want any other color just double click that uh, diamond and you get the option to change the colors by that you can use so here you can see blending mode there are so many blending mode but usually you can use the normal blending mode or if you want to add any highlights you can use add blending or something like that so here this is the final and i hope this is very informative for you if you like this tutorial please subscribe to my channel and thank you for watching